Okay, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to print text in the console window and comment on our code. So go ahead and open up uh, C Sharp and create a new project, a new console application, and name it My App or whatever you like. Press OK, and a new project is created. Okay, inside these two braces here is where all of our code will be executed in this tutorial, so you can go ahead and space those out a little bit. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to print hello world on the console window. So to do that, you type system, and then you can press tab, dot console, press tab again, dot write, down, press tab again, double parentheses, semicolon. Okay, now go back in between the double parentheses and write double quotation marks. Now, inside this double quotation marks here is what's going to be printed on the console window. So we write hello world. Okay. So what that did is it, s it sent hello world to the system console and then writes the line. Okay, so to see it in action we just press debug. Now it's hard to tell right there but hello world pops up in the console window and then disappears instantly. To fix that we need to write console dot read key double parentheses semicolon. What that does is waits for a user input or key input before moving to the next step, which in this case there's no next step, so it'll close the program. So you can go ahead and debug again, and it says hello world, waits for key input. Once key input's entered, closes the program. Okay, now that we know how to print text on the console window and wait for a key input before moving to the next step, let's learn how to comment. A comment is just a simple note left by the programmer so he knows what the code is doing. There's a couple different comments. The first one is slash slash, which is a single line comment which reaches across one line of comment. The other type of comment is a block comment, which you can do with slash star, which is shift 8, which can go across multiple com multiple lines like this. You also have to close a block comment, unlike a single line comment. To close it, you just do shift 8 or star again and slash. Okay, go ahead and save your application, and we'll return to it next time for variables.